So we're looking at a standard MLR involving four predictors of uh, the dependent variable English achievement. So we first look at the R squared to find that this model explains 22% of the variance. And if we were to generalize to the population, then our adjusted R squared would be used to conclude that we've explained 20% of the variance in the population. So is that a significant amount of variance explained? Uh, yes, it is. So it's unlikely to have occurred by chance. So next we're going to look at the uh, regression coefficients for each variable and we go to the standardized betas here and we note that the best predictor is attentiveness in year 8 followed by the amount of homework that's being done and these two predictors sex of student and socio-educational level are very small and close to zero. Attentiveness is significant frequency of homework is not quite significant. So we're explaining about 20% of the variance and most of that variance is being explained by attentiveness and to some extent homework. Now there's a somewhat interesting story uh, being that's revealed in looking at the zero order and partial correlations. So uh, this is the zero order correlation for gender here and that is the correlation between gender and English achievement. So there's gender, there's English achievement and there is some correlation here. It's The correlation is about 0.23. However the partial correlation or the unique correlation between gender and English achievement is almost zero and that's because correlated predictors being uh, attentiveness and English homework uh, do a better job of explaining this variance that is explained by gender. In other words females uh, pay more attention and do more English homework and so it's not their biological gender but rather the behaviours they perform that are stronger predictors of English achievement than, than just gender alone. Hence we see this drop from the zero order significant correlation down to the non-significant uh, role it plays as a predictor in a multiple linear regression. Alright, now the rest of this output um, should be fairly quick to look at. There's the maximum Mahalanobis distance and especially with four predictors the critical value for chi-squared is around about 18. You can check the table for the exact value so that's not an issue and uh, we can check the normality of the residuals uh, which are quite uh, should be quite acceptable. So they look excellent there. So despite having slightly non-normal data uh, uh, seems to have fulfilled the key assumption which is around the normality of residuals.